I haven't posted a progress update in a while on YouTube. If you've been keeping up with me on Instagram or TikTok or even on YouTube Shorts, then you'd know how my recent progress has been going. I'm gonna be a little more in depth though here. So I'm still on THP and I'm still trying to get that first dunk since my knee injury. I'm on my sixth month now of THP, reaching my seventh and progress has been going great. I haven't been posting some of my sessions. If I'm not getting some solid attempts and I just look pathetic like in the attempts you're watching right now, then they're not worth posting. The good thing is I'm finally fully healthy and I have been fully healthy for about four months now. This this jump specifically is one of my most aesthetically pleasing jumps because my form looked near perfect. I really extended on the penultimate step, my strides were nice and long, my block foot could have been a little better but overall it was pretty good. I also got my wrist above the rim so it's safe to say that my vertical definitely went up with THP. Not sure by how much but I know it did. In terms of my gym progress, I'm at my strongest right now. I PR'd on squats a couple months ago at 300 pounds and I think I could hit 315 by the end of the year. I also hit 205 pounds on power clean multiple times. I've tried to get 210. I'm really close, but I'm not there yet. But I'm aiming for 225 for sure. That's gonna be tough. But at my current weight, around 145 to 150 pounds, I'd say I'm hovering over the upper echelon of relative strength. And it's all because of the intense training that THP has me doing. And because of this intense training, I'm jumping at my highest and I'm at my strongest. But I was also at my most fatigued state, which means that I wasn't capable of jumping at my highest potential, which is why the jump sessions from a few weeks ago look like this. And this. And this. So for the past four weeks, I've been going through a peaking phase where THP has me doing about half the workload throughout the week. Usually I would have two hard leg days, two hard jump days per week. So that's four really intense days, but now I'm doing one hard leg day and one jump day per week, cutting it down to two hard days. So I pretty much have five days throughout the week of active recovery. Very different from a deload week since I'm still exposing my body to intense training here and there, still making sure that I'm keeping my body accustomed to the jumping and the heavy lifting, while also not frying my central nervous system, thus allowing my body to recover and it's been working a lot each week i'm noticing the fatigue has been dropping and my performance rising and my lobs and attempts are looking better and better each week mostly because of getting a lot of reps in and getting used to the timing so yeah i've been loving this new routine i'm on the only thing that sucks is that i have to wait a whole week to jump again my most recent sessions have been my best sessions yet and the closest i've gotten to a dunk since january hitting the back rim on almost each attempt looking like the ball is going in and out consistently getting my wrist at rim level or higher something i know that i have to work on is that i'm too focused on grabbing the rim and even though these attempts look good in regular speed once you slow it down then you can see that the ball is consistently slipping out of my fingers so i gotta learn how to get better at handling the ball in the air making sure i'm actively gripping the ball i gotta get my hand a little bit over the ball so i can actually put it straight down into the hoop instead of pushing it into the back rim but at least the timing has been getting noticeably better my most recent jump session was pretty bad and i was frustrated especially because the one prior was my best session i had high expectations and my performance didn't live up to it the process of getting this dunk has been a huge weight on my shoulders. It's annoying specifically because I know what I'm capable of and because of my history. I got my first dunk, then I got injured. I trained and got my vertical back and I got my first lob dunk. Then I got injured again, which had me out for about six months. And now I built my vertical back up. I'm finally healthy again. And I'm pretty much on my third dunk journey. And I just want to be able to surpass this phase of my training. I want to be at that point where I'm dunking consistently, dunking in game, dunking in pickup, you know, because I've been at this for a while. And as silly of a goal it is to just dunk and not even compete in anything, to me, it means a lot because I'm 5'7". I grew up playing basketball and I grew up watching these high flyers in the NBA. So being able to do what they do means a lot to me, which is why I've been taking this shit so seriously i want to prove to myself that i'm capable of this and show myself that i'm capable of anything as long as i put the work in so it's not just a mere goal of simply getting a dunk it's probably going to determine my future so yeah when i do get that dunk it'll lift that weight off my shoulders the next progress update you guys are going to get in long form will be when i get this dunk and i got a few things planned after that i appreciate y'all for following along and i'll see y'all then all right later